Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so I just wanted to do a very quick sort of recap on fractions. Now some of you might not need this, um, some of you might just be able to jog your memories, uh, but I think it'd just be really good just to sort of remind ourselves um, what fractions are and sort of the different parts of it. Now, I'm trying to think of the best way to sort of describe how we sort of use a fraction. So I've done this, let's see if it helps. So imagine that you're doing a spelling test, okay? So here's my four spellings, okay? Now, how many spellings have I got all together? I've got four spellings all together. How many did I get correct? I got one, two, three. So we write it like this, okay? I got three out of four spellings correct. So I've written it as a fraction, okay? Three quarters, we call this, okay? But I'm just trying to show you how a fraction works and what it looks like, okay? So I had four spellings, so that's how many I had all together, and I got three of those spellings correct, okay? So I'm just gonna take this off, just for a minute. Okay, so. Here is a circle because we're going to start with fraction of shape, okay? Now, if I was to show you this fraction, most of you would be able to tell me that is a half, okay? Now, I'm going to show you how we would use it using this circle, okay? Now, just to let you know, we, don't, we sort of need to start mentioning these terms. The top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator, okay? Don't worry too much about those names, they're not the most important thing right now, but I just thought I'd sneak it in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna write as a little reminder, this is how much it is out of, and this is, we called it with the spellings, how many I got correct, but it's how many you've almost chosen, you've selected, okay? Or shaded, I can also put, because we're doing shading today. Okay, so there are two parts of my circle. Okay, so I'm just going to do a line right down the middle. Okay, so there are two parts, that's what I've got there. One of those parts is shaded. Okay, so I'm just gonna very quickly just do this. So that is showing a half, okay? Because there are two parts on my circle, one, two, but one of those parts is coloured in, okay? So that is showing a half. Now, let me show you using a different one. Okay, oh gosh, I'm gonna to have to draw the circle again. <laughs> it's really hard sort of doing it on the side like this, so apologies if it is a bit of a wibbly circle. Okay, so I'm gonna change this number this time, and uh, now I'm gonna change it to a four, okay? So this actually says one quarter, okay? But we can say one out of four for now. So, four is how much it's out of, it's how much there is, how many pieces, okay? So, I need to have four pieces, and I can do that by doing that. Not a great line, I've just seen the video, so apologies. Okay, we want to make it more equal though, so yes, I am gonna draw that again. It's really hard, I have to sort of crane my neck around this way, oh, that's better. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so, I've got four parts, one, two, three, four. One of those parts is shaded, okay, is chosen. So that is showing one quarter, okay? One, it's saying one out of those four pieces are shaded, okay? And even if I change this number onto there, okay, I could do this. Now I've got four pieces, one, two, three, four. Two of those pieces are shaded, one, two. Now some of you might notice that that also shows a half. That will come on to a little later on, but it's good just to see that, so well done if you did. Okay, I can also change this again. So I've got four pieces, one, two, three, four. Three of those pieces are shaded. And that shows three quarters. Three out of my four pieces are shaded. Okay, now I just wanna show you one more. 
Okay, so, I'll that out just for a second. A little cream in it, crown this way. Okay, I'm just using a circle because it's a bit easier to do when I come to thirds as well. Okay, so, what a piece though. Okay, so this fraction this time, I have three pieces. Okay, so I've cut it already into one, two, three pieces. Now, one of those pieces is shaded. And we call this a third, okay? There are three pieces all together. Okay, let's put all together there. Okay, and one is shaded. When we get on to doing fraction of number and sort of quantity, we'll change that shaded word. But just for now, it just helps, I think, to see it. So we've got three pieces all together, one of those is shaded. What if I wanted to show two thirds? Okay, nice and easy. Three pieces all together, one, two, three. Two of those are shaded, okay? So I hope that has just helped a little bit, remind you if you had forgotten, um, or just nice to watch and just sort of remind yourself of some of those things. So that is sort of intro to fractions. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Fractions are always a little uh, sort of different in the way that you know, some people get it at different rates and it's just one of those things, it's like time. Uh, it's one of those things that you can see straight away or you need a little bit more time on it. So anyway, enjoy the learning this week, missing you lots and speak to you soon.